What is going on guys when I banded back again with yet another video and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero finally has a release date October 11th 2024. I decided to hop on to Bandai's website and check out Sparking Zero because they always add little tidbits after the trailers and I just wanted to go over some of the stuff. Blaze a new path. Conquer the action-packed battles from beloved original story, or discover and unlock new encounters for your favorite Z fighters and more. Relive your favorite moments from the series through cutscenes you can experience from the perspectives of eight characters. Whoa! This is very interesting. So, for the longest time, so many people have been talking about when it comes to Dragon Ball games, We've been playing the same thing over and over and over. Now, granted, honestly, they have deviated from that past. They have deviated from that path quite a few times. Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 have their own kind of storylines, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> Kakarot is one of the probably the most recent of the games that brought us back to playing literally from the Sand Saga all the way to, you know, you know gt and stuff like that we don't have gt and kakarot right now but you get what i'm saying um but we haven't actually been able to play strictly straight through the story mode in quite a bit and honestly i understand how many people hate doing it but i think it's a refreshing experience every single time because i love the show so much but this right here seems really really cool we can take eight perspectives and i'm wondering which characters that this is going to be through so i'm gonna assume obviously we have goku gohan vegeta trunks piccolo maybe and then i feel like the other three might be up in the air yamcha krillin and and tn is it are those the three <clears throat> We'll be able will we be able to get some goten and kid trunks action type stuff i really like those characters so that's why i bring them up or is it just those eight z fighters that i listed if so that'd be pretty cool but this is just this is a really really cool and different way to experience the story once more being able to integrate the what if storylines that they've had in like the past Tenkaichi games into the main story i think that that is really really dope and this brings replayability to the game as well in just the story mode we already know that we're getting online and we'll be able to have online battles that's going to be something entirely of itself that's going to be really fun and very replayable but to have replayability in the story mode that's freaking awesome create play and share recreate your favorite battles from throughout the dragon ball story or set up your dream story battle with your favorite characters share your creations with other fans and experience the battles throughout life by imaginations around the world oh my gosh so wow we'll be able to play the story a certain way and then share with other people this game is looking to be pretty massive am i wrong like this is kind of crazy so it's like what if we'll be able to you know i i know in the trailer they showed father son final flash with trunks and vegeta but what if we're able to like <laughs> i don't know do something crazy against cell with like krillin and tn doing like <laughs> oh best friend solar flare or something like that i don't know this is this sounds insane and i'm excited to do this like again this just brings that replayability factor like you'll be able to play other people's story and see what they came up with and you'll be able to do the same thing this is so insane Rivals make you stronger. Challenge other players online to test your skills or sit down with friends offline to hone your skills exclusively in the hyperbolic time chamber. Fight your way to become a champion across various tournament modes and victory conditions. So I like reading this simply because one, this means that local play is kind of it's it's kind of real. There's been a debate in the community where where there's no local play. Um, the PlayStation Store updated the game and it had local play on it and then well it first dropped with no local play and then it updated somebody and it had local play and then it re-updated and there was no local play but now this confirms that there is local play but the caveat is that you can only play in the hyperbolic time chamber and quite honestly i don't care because most most people are playing this game online against other people 
online. I know having that local play brings back the nostalgia of back when you were chilling with your friends or cousins or family in your house on your PlayStation 2 and playing Tenkaichi 3. I get it. Split screen. It was very fun and it was very cool. But if we're being totally honest, like we're not doing that today. So them even implementing it in any type of way is cool just for the sole purpose of those who don't have that um, online experience. But let's be honest, it is what it is. But I, I really like this. I really like this. And that seems to be all they have for us. Other than that, we got collector's edition. Um, this is really, really cool. I think these statues kind of look a little bit janky in my personal opinion, but um, probably would be dope to have nonetheless. The steel book is really fire. I might actually get this if I'm being honest. I, I really might. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and then we have yeah, more of that. And then here's some season pass stuff. Um, if you buy the ultimate edition and I believe the um, deluxe edition you could get the game three days early so that's really cool we can play on October 8th rather than the 11th we got season pass stuff um, crazy that there's a season pass um, I know in this modern age DLC is is a thing obviously back in the day they dropped a full game this is what you're getting there's no updates to it but at least now we know we have a season pass um i'm kind of on the fence about superhero stuff being dlc because you know i i don't know how long they've been working on the game but superhero has been out for quite some time and to me for it to be dlc is kind of kind of weird 20 plus playable characters um this is cool because we know well we don't know who they're going to drop um we can only assume though that it'll probably be like five five characters each dlc five ten fifth well uh I, I i'm not sure i'm not sure but we do know that playable characters count as transformations as well so even when you look at the pre-order bonus here this says six playable characters when it's actually just obviously Gogeta and his transformations and then Broly and his transformations. So each transformation counts as their own character. Um, but as we can see, the ultimate content pack, you get Goku Super Saiyan content costume with power pole, emote voice, voice set, one customization item, two player card backgrounds, summon Super Shinron ultimate edition bonus. This must... I don't know this is probably going to be able to get you some type of unlock within the game just like i used to be able to collect the dragon balls in tenkaichi 3 and then get i don't know a capsule or something like that 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 allowed you to boost your stats um i'm curious about what the emote voice set is that's interesting I mean, it kind of makes me feel like or even the the, the player backgrounds kind of makes me feel like we might be getting some type of lobby for this game is there going to be like an online lobby obviously back in the day we used to get tenkaichi um menus you know loading menus and stuff like that but these days you know we don't necessarily need those anymore um so yeah this is this is all really really cool um oh here's basically what we have so far of the characters in the game and lots of lots of characters i would say go to this site check it out yourself um i can't wait for more dragon ball sparking zero let me know your mains down in the comment section below top five i'm gonna list mine off right now probably bardock super saiyan god vegeta uh super saiyan 4 gogeta uh probably goten i know that's pretty funny and mm, I don't know. I don't know after that because there's there's a lot of characters, but to list just five, insane. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please remember that God and anime are always on your side. Please come join the bandit army. That is all I got for you. Peace out.